According to the 2010 census, Ambler has a population of 258. The village has a total area of 10.8 square miles. It's located about 130 miles east of Kotzebue, the regional hub city. The airstrip in Ambler is a gravel strip with lots of dogs to greet you when you arrive. And they're the friendliest dogs in the region. The village of Ambler lies alongside the north bank of the Kobuk River, just west of the confluence of the Ambler and the Kobuk Rivers. The people of Ambler rely heavily on the river for subsistence living. They fish, she fish, and salmon from the river during the summer. Right now, the people of Ambler are waiting for the caribou herd to come through. So far, there have only been a few strays. The large herd of thousands has not come through yet, and they're wondering if they're going to come through at all. In the meantime, people are hunting moose and bear. It's exciting times in Ambler when the barge comes for the last time for the summer. This fuel is going to have to last through the winter and the spring until the river thaws. The Nana Corporation has an office here. The Ambler Clinic has a doctor that comes in in the fall and the spring and she'll see us three days a week. But the rest of the time, she will have you teleconference her from Fairbanks. The Lodge is our one restaurant in town that sports an ATM, lots of groceries, and plenty of fried food. And it is wonderful. The french fries are out of this world, and the pizza is marvelous. And you can see by the menu that they have everything you need to make you feel at home. Ambler doesn't currently have any law enforcement personnel, but if they did come, they would stay there. The new construction of Ambler School was completed in August of 2004. Teacher housing used to be the elementary school and our gymnasium used to be the high school. Inupak skills and Inupak language is taught every day. The town barbecues start in the gym with the children's races, wheelbarrow races, and musical chairs for everyone's entertainment. And then, after the children have entertained the adults, a feast is given of hamburgers and hot dogs and potato chips. Most of the Inupak people are striving to live in harmony with nature. All the families in Ambler benefit from subsistence living from one way or another. They're either fishing and hunting for their own family or they're giving it away to families that don't have hunters among them. This ancient Ivrulik or sod house was home to the Inupak people for thousands of years. Mining projects on these lands have changed the people and their culture since the 1920s through the 1950s, and it's about to happen again. The Bornite Arctic Deposit 
or the Ambler Mineral Belt, is a 50-mile vein that could be mined for 50 years. The Ambler Road Environmental Impact Statement states that the access corridor is needed to increase job opportunities and encourage economic growth in the state. On the other hand, this development could actually keep the western arctic herd of caribou from ever wanting to come this way again. The area will benefit financially if the road does go through, but things will change forever for the Inupak people.